everyone, Xanders here, and, well, the Nintendo Direct for today just finished. It was a 3DS Focus Direct, and now I want to talk a little bit about it, because it's not always about playing games, and it's not always about, you know, talking Pokemon, it's talking about games in general. And well, there were some things I thought were pretty interesting, and I'm going to talk about those. Now, I'm not going to talk about everything that happened in this Direct, because not all of it's exciting. There, I forgot to put my phone in silence, so fix that. <laughs> uh, aside from the fact, like I was saying, not everything was new, some of it was old, and some of the stuff that, you know, we'd already heard prior to this, not really a big change, so I'm not going to really talk about it. But I'm going to talk about a few things. So, uh, yeah, let's delve in in no particular order. So one new announcement, at least for uh, us in the West, is an update to Animal Crossing New Leaf. They are adding Amiibo functionality, as well as a few other uh, new uh, changes to the way the game is played. So they're going to have uh, the compatibility with the existing Amiibo uh, for Animal Crossing that were for the abysmal Wii U game. They're not, and uh, they're going to be used for this for the old 3DS game, and the ones that were for Happy uh, Home Designer, which you can watch that old unboxing video here. Uh, the cards that you've been able to buy are not going to be compatible as well with the old uh, New Leaf game. And I think that's pretty cool. And they're going to be bringing out more Amiibo cards in the future that are going to be compatible with this because I guess they're adding like, trailer homes for people to kind of come visit in for uh, New Leaf, which is cool. And uh, you can invite them to stay and stuff like that. And I am all for updating you know, an older game that is still very much vi uh, viable in the market. Uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf was a big seller. It's still a good game. I own it. And I'm actually excited about these new features. And I know my daughter will be because she owns the game as well. And she really enjoys it. Now she can start collecting the Amiibo, which she's going to be excited for because she likes the little cute things. And the Amiibo are adorable in the Animal Crossing line. It's just they had no real... Uh, reason to buy them outside just oh they look pretty and we can sit them there so it's nice that they're actually going to be able to be used for something outside but really really bad mario party ripoff so i'm all for that that's a that was a good move to bring that from uh japan to uh, us in the west uh, i think they were either going to implement it here very soon or had already implemented it i'm not sure but uh these new updates will be starting here within the next month or so yeah look forward to that Another thing that was announced today, which I, I'm kind of interested in, uh, is the update to the uh, Mi Plaza. In the Mi Plaza, they're adding some new mini games. So we've got uh, out of the Street Pass games, we're getting uh, Slot Car Rivals, which is a little slot car racing game. You've got Market Crashers, where you're doing your best to predict the market as it goes, which is going to be different. We've also got Feed Me, where you're Feed it, you're trying to make these different dishes, I guess, based on ingredients and that and recipes you're supposed to get. At. Don't know for sure. Uh, then there's Me Trek. Me Trek uh, uses the step counts of uh, the people who street pass, and they add towards how your movement uh, within the game, which is different. It's something interesting. At least it gives reason to you know the steps uh, monitoring they do in the system that they really haven't used much. And then you have Ninja Launcher, which I think might be my favorite one announced, where basically your character is shot out of a cannon to fight demons in the sky, and I guess people are flying stuff on kites, and you get it, uh, these different items that are on the kites, to boost your powers to fight these things. And it's kind of just a little amusing and out there, and it's just an interesting idea, and I like it. Uh, they're also adding in, I think it's called, uh, it's like a street flat. Uh, pass plus kind of thing where you can normally pass 10 people But you can do something where you can make it to up to a hundred passes I I'm not sure exactly how it went, but it's premium. It's street pass like premium or something like that uh, I forget the actual name And I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments, which is fine but If I miss anything, please do correct me in the comments and I'll try to make annotations to fix it later But uh, yeah, these are new additions that are going into street pass plaza uh, as far as those games though, uh, go, though, two of them are actually up. They're going to be up for free, initially, and you can pick one. And then whatever one you pick, if you do take advantage of this, of getting one of them for free, you'll be able to get the other four in a discount bundle, which uh, is a good deal if you want to do something like that. 
that I think is uh, a great idea because frankly I got kind of bored with the Street Pass stuff a while back because I kind of finished the game so I have unlocked all the stuff as far as I know that needed to be unlocked, at least through the games. I had, you know, accomplished all I wanted to outside of like 100% completing them but I've already beaten them and I didn't really go, want to go back and keep playing them so they've been in my vault for I've got like a couple that I haven't beaten yet that's, you know, like the puzzle piece thing. And uh, the flower thing, which I stuffed one more damn flower. I cannot get it to breed, and it's pissing me off. I've been trying for like half a year at least to get, you know, this last flower. I, or at least close to it, because I just don't play it as much as I used to. But it is frustrating. But with these, it's at least something different, something new, and it's kind of something needed. And they are available today, which is always a great thing. So you can go right now after watching my video or before you've watched, if you're, you know, savvy enough to watch the Nintendo Direct yourself. And you can actually get these uh, these games right now. So go update and uh, enjoy yourselves. Now I know a lot of people like to bash on Mario Party games, which is the next thing we'll talk about. But I, I, I see where they can be appreciated, at least the modern variants. Except for Mario Party 10. Uh, Mario Party Star Rush, on the other hand, I think is a little bit more of a good way to go in keeping with the idea of like well everyone moves together instead of like everyone's literally moving together as like one piece to team battle everything uh at least in that way they are everyone moves at the same time you hit a dice and i i guess you hit a dice and you're allowed to move and you all move at the same time so it's no taking turns it's everything happens at once and you can actually pick up characters uh, from the Mario series to tag along with you because you play as Toad uh, during this mode and like everyone's Toad and you can pick up like Mario or Luigi or Wario or whoever and they give you different movement bonuses as you collect them. You can have multiple. I watched uh, this a bit during the uh, E3 uh, Nintendo Direct this year and uh, they that they you know have everybody can group battle all these bosses and, but the mini games are really interesting in this uh, Toad mode because you can actually have the people you collect, the different Mario characters, actually help in the mini games, which is kind of cool because they help you get bonuses and whatever they end up scoring, you get the points for it. So that's always nice. And there's a bunch of other mini game modes. It's got the local uh, download play, you know, for up to four people total. So you know, if you have one copy, you can download play. Multiplayer is local as well. It's also the party guest version, which is a free download to allow you to do the multiplayer for free if there's only one copy of the game. So that's something different. So you don't have to do download play. You can do a download to do, you know, the multiplayer features without the limitations, which is great. Also, the release of some amiibo uh, to be used, like Waluigi, uh, Daisy, I think a Boo. You know, stuff like that. So there's at least seven new ones, including a new Rosalina. So if you were somebody else collecting Amiibo and you want a Rosalina, while you may not be able to get the Smash version, you can get the Mario Party version, which should work on Smash. So, plus. And that will be available November 4th, and that includes the video as well. If you're like me who has kids, this might be a good purchase for you. Now, another thing they talked about that would be fantastic for kids, and I actually might have for my kids, is Super Mario Maker 3D. Yes. Yep, they are bringing Mario Maker from the Wii U to the 3DS sans the actual special mushroom costumes. So you can't use your amiibo to scan and get different costumes and make levels like that. That is still staying exclusively to the Wii U version. But outside of that, all the building stuff is going to be there. You can uh, share locally with people through Street Pass or uh, you can just like put it up to just directly share with people and you can actually collaborate with people and put them through the street pass stuff and people can actually help uh, build on stuff you make and collaborate to create a number of different levels which is really cool so you can have one that's partially finished share it and someone else can complete it which is you know pretty interesting because it's different from how it's done on the Wii U version so it does give the 3DS version something unique to itself uh, you can play levels that are made on the Wii U version. Not all of them would be compatible, obviously, because of the special mushroom exclusivity. So anything like that likely will not be able to be done on the 3DS version. But all the other levels, as long as you're not, you know, screwing around with the, the costumes, you can play on the 3DS version, which I think is great. And considering my kids uh, love to play Mario Party on the Wii U, this will give me a reason to let them play, on, uh, play the game in their room on their own systems. So they don't have to bug me about it every five minutes. 
So I, I, this is something I probably really will end up looking into buying uh, for them. And that sounds like a great gift. Uh, that comes out later this year, I believe. Yeah, it comes out in uh, December on the 2nd. So keep an eye out for that. And speaking of Amiibo, we have new Amiibos coming out for the 30th anniversary of Legend of Zelda. In fact, it's four of them. We have 8-Bit Link, we have Ocarina of Time, Adult Link, and then we have Toon Link and Toon Zelda. Uh, these are all going to be compatible with the uh, uh, Legend of Zelda um, Hyrule Warriors Legends for 3DS. Likely will also be uh, of some use with the Wii U version, if I had to guess correctly. So that's always something cool, and these are for, you know, those big Nintendo collectors. This is something I want to get into. I kind of want the 8-bit one because, frankly, you know, it's just childhood. I played the original game back when I was a kid. I never finished it, and I sucked at it. It was a very frustrating game for me, but I always thought it was kind of cool, and I would always kind of put it in a play. And I've come to really appreciate the Zelda series as I've grown up, and I'm a sucker for the 8-bit era. So if this is something that may interest you, Take a look out for it, they'll be available on the 2nd of December. Now, speaking of the Hyrule Warriors Legends game, there's a DLC pack out today, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks pack. It's available today, and it will include Toon Link and Toon Zelda, as well as another uh, game mode, I think, involving Princess Zelda. So yeah, go look into that as well. Uh, also, if you're a Zelda fan, available today, uh, well, it is the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. If that's something you think you might want, and why not, I guess? You can go ahead and download it today off of the uh, eShop. So, yeah, another one to go check out. So this is a good day to be a Zelda fan. Now, if you were a fan of Yo-Kai Watch, then today's Nintendo Direct was definitely something to watch. Because we got a little bit more information on Yo-Kai Watch 2, uh, both the Fleshy Souls and Bony Spirits editions. Yep, they're going kind of Pokemon, you know, two versions where you can do some trading and there's exclusive Yo-Kai to each side. We got a little bit more of an idea of the story. You could travel back in time to uh, the actual uh, creation of the original watch. You get to experience that time period, which looks like it's in the Edo period, likely, or at least uh, in that time period where we started getting uh, seeing more industrial revolution. So it might be the early 1900s, late 1800s, something like that. So because there's you know actual steam engines. So I'm not sure the exact time period. So don't quote me on that. I enjoy history, but I'm not perfect at it. But you get to know about the story that it's a battle between two factions, and it's Fleshy Souls and Bony Spirits factions. And they have their leaders, and each game has their own unique aspects as far as the yokai you can get. We also get exclusive uh, medals with the initial release copies, so if you have the watch for your kids, that's something you can get. Uh, I think you can use these medals also uh, on your games. I'm not sure. I, I never did have that functionality to actually use to get different um, moves, I guess, for uh, Jabanyan in the game. Uh, also, depending on which version you get, I think if you get it early, or at least pre-order or something, you get a special uh, one of the Jabanyan-style characters. So you get Robanyan F for one of the versions, and Sailorian for another. Uh, I don't know specifically, like, Sailorian, I don't know who she is. Uh, Robanyan I'm at least somewhat familiar with because my kids have watched the show. So those are kind of exclusive bonuses to each version of the game. I don't know which one's which. You have to look that up. But yeah, if that's something you're going to be interested in, well, September 30th, your 29 days is when they come out. So hey, yeah, might want to get on that. So taking it back to Mario again for a minute because it's Nintendo. Of course we do. Uh, we have another Mario game coming out. Uh, this is for the 3DS. This is Mario Sports. Sports. This is Mario Sports Superstars. Now, Mario Sports Superstars is going to have five different kinds of sports within it. It's going to be golf, baseball, soccer, tennis, and for the first time, as far as I know, horse racing. So that's at least a new sport for Mario, as far as I know. Uh, all these games will be available. They're full-on games, uh, you know, full-on versions of the sports. So soccer is 11 versus 11, so it's the full team rules. So that's something you've kind of, you know, been against the Mario soccer games for not doing well. Now you get the 11 versus 11, and it's going to be on uh, 3DS. It's going to have tournaments, not, not only single-player tournaments, but multiplayer tournaments, apparently, uh, for local play and for uh, internet play, so you can play with people around the world which is, you know, really cool. Uh, I, I kind of think this is a good idea, because it's nice to have these kind of, like, sports games 
as an as a, an aside for the series, you can't always do a main series Mario game. But these are nice little distractions. Uh, I've enjoyed the tennis games. I've enjoyed the carts. I can say uh, golf is at least going to be fun. So yeah, Mario done golf before. So I think this is uh, going to be a decent buy for some people if you're a big Mario fan. This could be a good buy as long as it works well, which mm, some of the games in the different series tend to, on occasion, go meh when it comes to the uh, spin-off games. This game will be available in spring next year, so no specific date yet. So it's spring, so we're looking late March to early June, somewhere in there. Likely late April, early May would be now, I know if I don't talk about this next one, there might be some Nintendo fans that are going to be like, all over me because I didn't talk about it. There's a Pikmin game coming to 3DS. You can tap to throw the, the uh, Pikmin around. It's a side-scrolling platformer kind of game. And puzzle solving, so... Yeah, there's that. Comes out next year. Yep, Pikmin for Nintendo 3DS, which is the working title at the moment because they have the final name, uh, is available in 2017. Just sometime in 2017. So, if you're into side-scrollers, you're into puzzle games, you're into throwing little plant creatures around, and you're into Pikmin, then this is something you might want to pick up next year. I have never really gotten into the Pikmin series, so I can't really say much about it. Whatever. If you like it, cool. You have all next year to wait, so I'm fine for it. And the last thing I want to talk about, which was actually the first thing discussed, was a little bit more Sun and Moon news. Now again, we didn't get a lot of news for Sun and Moon, it's just a couple of little things, but they're interesting little things at least. For instance, we know now there's going to be a distribution uh, around the time Sun and Moon releases for a Munchlax, and we get this Munchlax, if I, if I got it correctly, if I understood it correctly, you get a Z-Crystal with it that is exclusively for Snorlax. So once it evolves, you use this crystal, and so, uh, Snorlax gets its own move, and it basically uh, gets up, and it goes running full speed, jumps up and just Yokozuna's a bitch. <laughs> it just leaps up and then just ass plants on its opponent. Uh, it pulverizing Pancake, I think is what it's called. I just don't get it, but it's just so amusing. And he actually made the joke that, you know, all, it's like, Snorlax has been, you know, basically trying to get up, you know, for like all these generations that's finally awake. <laughs> oh my god, I love that they played on that joke. That was, that was good. That was good. I, I approve. And then we got the announcement of another new Alolan form, which is Alolan Rattata. Go figure, it is now going to be a dark normal type. And the way they actually talk about uh, how this came about is Rattata came to Alola, and you know they multiplied a lot, but they had to deal with uh, Yangus attacking them and hunting them down. So to avoid Yangus, they became nocturnal, but you know they went to a different part of the island became nocturnal and that was to avoid Yangus and over time they changed into their dark variant. Uh, so yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. And these are kind of bipedal. So instead of like, actually like being on all fours like most retired, these are actually kind of standing. They're a little more forward bending, but they're on two legs and their arms are in their kind of standing like this. You can see in the image right here. So it's really kind of cool. Uh, I love those kinds of things where they just talk about these these nice little details. I love hearing this stuff. I like seeing these new Alola forms. In fact, I was kind of pushing for a Dark Rattata, though I would have gone for Dark Poison, but that's just me. I thought that would have been interesting because, you know, rats and being kind of disease-ridden in the real world. But maybe that's a little too, too realistic for some people. I can get that. So Dark Normal, I'll take it. So all in all, the Nintendo Direct, outside of the stuff that I talked about here and the stuff I didn't talk about, uh, it was a pretty good direct. They had a weird little skit going where uh, Bill, which is one of the guys that's always in these directs, had taken Reggie's new 3DS XL that had all the 2017 games on it to talk about. He would pocketed it to try to find and give it to Reggie, and then he got sent to Easter Island for some reason because a gag. And then Reggie's trying to get his, uh, you know, state his. Uh, producer to find the 3DS and everything, because we can't talk about these new, new games until we get it. You know, it's the new Galaxy one that they just announced in the last couple of days that's now available for, you know, orders and shit. And, you know, it was, it was harmless. It wasn't really funny. It was harmless. So, all in all though, a good direct. Some nice little surprises that we didn't know about. Some things that we were hoping to happen uh, here in the West are happening. 
And uh, there were some other new games announced that really didn't interest me. There's uh, a Pi there's another Pi Cross 3D game coming out round two. If you're interested in that, I think it's available today if you want to go out and go and test out the demo for that and then buy it. That's there. If uh, there's no one's like about tanks is gonna be coming out, I was really interested in that one. I don't care uh, particularly. And there's a couple of other ones I just didn't talk about that you know either I had talked about before, like Ace Attorney, which I'm excited for and does come out here in a few days, and I want it. And I'm still frustrated it's a digital only release, but I will be buying it. In fact, I bought a brand new new 3DS XL more or less specifically to be able to buy that game and to have more space because I needed to upgrade and get more memory. Uh, yeah, I was happy with this direct. Uh, go ahead and go watch it for yourself. It should be available on their channel right now. It's just a regular video. And yeah, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can always follow me on Twitter right over there, and if you want to, you can check out a couple of my past videos, like uh, my video where I just went for a visit to a uh, international market near where I live called Jungle Gems. You can go uh, right over here uh, to the image right there, and uh, join me and my buddy Drifter for our adventure. So, yeah, until then, thank you for joining me. My name is Andros, and I'll see you in the next one. Till next time.